the glute bridge. First of all, does your glute bridge look like this? And you're like kind of doing these weird arch back things. Team, we want to set ourselves up for success and make sure we're not hurting our backs. Believe it or not, exercise is medicine, but the right, the wrong type of exercise or done incorrectly will actually harm your body. So this exercise will go over and back on track. It's really narrowing down and mastering the glute bridge. So you can see, I'm kind of in this, well, if you don't know yet, this arch position. So I'm talking through how to set yourself up properly in good alignment to actually get what you want out of the glute bridge, which is strong glutes and legs. pointing up like this, I want to come down. Second, I want to master where my pelvic position is. So to find your pelvic position, we want to go first, roll your hips forward, butt stays on the ground, to anterior tilt. You will notice your back is arching, that's anterior tilt. Go as far as you can just to get the range, don't go into pain. Second, now go to posterior tilt, so roll your pelvis backward, flatten your back onto the ground so there's no space. That's posterior tilt, okay? So again, anterior, posterior. Where do we go? We want to be halfway, so neutral. So now that we know how far anterior feels like, we know how far posterior is, we now find the middle and that's our halfway mark. Notice there's still a small space between my back. That's neutral spine. You should have a small space between your back and your lumbar spine. So now I'm in my pelvis position. I've got my ribs down. What's next? Bracing. Protect your back. So bracing is not sucking in or pushing out. It is hardening and stiffening. We teach it in back and traffic. It's so vital to make sure your back is supported during any movement you're doing. I like to cue it like it's coughing. So if you were to cough <laughs> or laugh, what do you notice happens within your spine? Everything stiffens. It doesn't suck in, it doesn't push out, it just stiffens. And not just the front side. Your core is your whole trunk. So your sides, your back, everything is stiff. Now, for some of us just learning that concept, you might have to cough every time to cue it. But eventually over time, you can just learn how to harden and stiffen to protect your back and fire your core. Okay, so ribs, pelvis, brace. Good. A neutral glute bridge, meaning it's going to work on my glutes and my legs at the same time. My feet need to be flat on the ground and just barely being able to touch them. So if you have some knee stuff going, you might need to bring it out a little bit, but not too far. The farther I go out, the more hamstring I'm working, the closer I come into my body, the more quads I'm working. So front side. So we want to kind of find middle way to, to strengthen my glutes, my hamstrings, and my hamstrings and my quads. Okay, so this is set up, shoulders are down, chin is tucked, I'm going to brace. The last step is this, squeeze your glutes. Can you actually feel, if you watch my butt cheek fire, can you feel your glutes fire before you engage? Not the quads, not the hamstrings. So this might be a, a challenge for a lot of us because they're like, I'm really firing my quads but I can't feel my glutes, or my hamstrings fire but I can't feel my glutes. Give yourself some feedback. Poke your butt a little bit, feel your muscles contract before you begin. We want this to be a balanced exercise, meaning it's strengthening our core, our front, our back, and our glutes at the same time. Not just making the hamstrings work really hard or the quads. So now we have this set up real quick. Ribs, pelvis neutral, brace, feet, almost so I can touch them. Squeeze my glutes. Now, Squeeze your glutes hard and bring your hips up to a nice straight position. So my knee, my hip, and my shoulder should be in the same line. Most of us have back issues because we're like arching our back or we're really extending our back, right? Not safe. So we want to be able to master that neutral position, the knee, hip, and shoulder in line. Ribs stay down. Squeeze your glutes and then come back down. A pro tip is this. If you even bring up yourself into a nice straight line, can you even just try and post your tail just a little bit more? So I'm going to try and post your tilt a little bit more to get even more glute activation, and then you're going to come back down on a slow control. That, my friends, is the proper way, the long explanation of how to do a glute bridge so it's safe for your back, it's safe for your body, it's actually strengthening the right muscles we want at the same time, and this is something we go over and back on track, but we break each move down even smaller so you really know what you're doing instead of feeling overwhelmed. What the heck are all those cues? Don't worry, if you need help with this, if you've got back pain, Head to back on track, we'll cue you through everything.